Well, oh, thank you very much, sweetheart. That's awfully nice of you. Look at that. I feel so special. Luckily. <laughs> Thank you, Al. Well, I am the envy of every young girl out there today. She just rocked our plaza a few minutes ago and still has one more song to come. But now I get a chance for a one-on-one -on -one sit down to talk with a teen queen. From acting to touring to designing and writing, it seems there is nothing the 16-year-old can't do. And on Monday, her newest album, The Time of Our Lives, will be released exclusively at Walmart, where she also has a new clothing line. Miley Cyrus, good morning. Thank you. Good morning to you. I'm so <laughs> sorry you are so drenched, you it's, poor thing. It's actually, you know, it's okay. Nice way to wake up Wakes in the morning, least, exactly, right? and at least it wasn't cold. How was it out there for you? I mean, it, do you still get nervous when you when you see crowds this big? Um, I don't think it's nervous. I think I just get more like I get super anxious because um, you never really know how someone's gonna respond, especially when you do new music. This song has been out for a little while and it's definitely it's had its you know success and so that's great. But just you know some of the new songs like kicking and screaming and uh -huh. some of the things no one's heard before. So. And it's a little more of a rocker side to you. Is that kind of the new Miley Cyrus we're gonna see? Well. For this record, you know, I kind of kept it, you know, within the lines of what I what I usually do, which is mm -hmm. kind of like a, a pop rock sound. I don't even like using the word rock for it because I feel like it kind of it's definitely like an honor to be put in that title. So yeah. I feel like the next record, that's what I'm going to be able to do. This. this is kind of like my transition. I wanted to put out Party in the USA because it's a cool song for everybody. I swear mm -hmm. I've seen more moms dance to it than I have kids. I've, I know I like, dance to it. The moms are always like jamming. And I'm, I'm like, the mom who's you know, dancing to it. It's like it. totally cool and, and you know, the younger kids like it as well. But then, you know, I feel like it's kind of my way of, you know, kind of supporting the clothing line, which it goes perfect for all that, that kind of look. Um, but next record, I definitely want to be able to step it up a little bit. But yeah. I'm really excited about this one because it's a good transition kind of introducing myself kind of once again to everyone. Yeah, and you mentioned your clothing line. Um, clothing line sold exclusively at Walmart and yeah. this is uh, along with the designer Max Azure, you came up with this collection. How involved with you were you in designing the collection? Uh, we were really involved, especially at the beginning, because um, you know I walked into his office uh -huh. and uh, there was just a bunch of pictures of me, and I'm like, <laughs> okay, those are like not good. And he's like, well, this is your style, and I'm like. Really? I'm like, people want to dress like that, and they're like, yeah, totally. So we kind of just took things that I like, and I feel, honestly, I, there's just one day that I, I remember so well that I um, I walked into a BC Beauty store, mm -hmm. and as usual, which I haven't changed that much, I'm still wearing my tennis shoes, but I was wearing tennis <laughs> shoes and a plaid shirt, and I was just like, I walked out of there in heels and a dress, and I was like, I feel like so much better right. about myself after like being kind of introduced to his line, and so I feel like that's when it really, you know, I kind of understood the genius behind, you know, Max. And is that what you want? You want to give back to young women because the line really is so accessible. I mean, every yeah. I think ninety percent of the collection is under twenty dollars. Right? Yeah, it's all super cheap. Like I've been wearing the jeans every day, and it's also my thing is it's it's not built for people that are this big mm -hmm. around. It's built for people with normal bodies and yeah. it's built for people that have Thank beautiful God. curves and there I feel like there's nothing for that and that was really important to me and I went you know, it's for you know for kids and it's also for adults. I've had mm -hmm. more adults be able to rock the line too, and it's not just for people that look the way that it's supposedly so in. It's for normal bodies, and I love being able to put on a pair of jeans and not lay on my bed right. and not jump Having up and down. And because stretch. me and my sister, we laughed about that one night. We're like, you never actually get that. So I love being able to have comfortable clothes that fit a normal hard, body. Hard to believe you have to struggle to get into a pair oh, of jeans. I, but <laughs> I, I do the bed <laughs> laying. I put I have music for that. Yeah. Now, I mean, you were talking about the transition and this time in your life. I mean, you're 16 going on 17 in December, I believe. And, and, you know, there's, I can imagine a lot of pressure on a young girl like you and your, your character, Hannah Montana, you're going into your fourth season now. Um, a lot of people still see you in that Disney clean yeah. cut image. Is it hard for you to kind of outgrow that and go past that? Yeah, you know, for I always want to, um, you know, be known. Yeah, it's not necessarily, night, it was I don't think it's like, it's just like here. perfect, like, mm -hmm. girl, but it's someone that is hopefully, you know, inspiring other people. And that's what I want more than anything. I'm not here to say that I'm perfect because I'm far from that. And, um, as we all are. And I'm here to, you know, my mistakes are kind of a little bit harder because they are in front of millions and millions of people. But it's that I get to go through that and I get to learn. And, you know, it's, it's hard to sometimes smile mm -hmm. about it because half the time, yeah, it does suck, like having to go through that. But it's also, it just makes me want to try harder the next time when, you know, I know that little girls look at me and say I'm their hero. And that's, that's really do important. Do you like that being a role model to them? And, and do you feel like you're judged unfairly sometimes? Sometimes I, I, you know, it's kind of just like going into this business. I think you just expect it. Yeah. Um, but it's it's kind of just like what this what this industry is, and it, it is about that. But I feel like 
you know, everyone has to make mistakes, and I think if a lot of people look back at, you know, them being a kid, they're going to realize that they've done a lot of the same things that I have. So I, mean, I guess sometimes judgment's unfair, but that's just the way that's it rolls. It's the way the cookie is. crumbles, my it friends. It is, absolutely. <laughs> well, Miley, you've been so uh, sweet to stay with us for four songs, and you're so grounded, and it's nice to see you here Thank again. Thank you. I know you're going to be you amazing no matter what you do in life. So Thank it's you great so much. to see you grow so much. Thank you. And we look forward, by the way, to one more song from Miley coming up in our next half hour. Also ahead in today's garden, we're going to show you what's involved when it comes to getting your plants ready for fall. But up next on today's real estate, what can you get for your money? And has the market finally hit rock bottom? We're going to check out some houses for sale with Barbara Corcoran right after this.